Everybody look. Ginger Z joining us. My gosh, you feel like you're a part of our team in our homes every morning, and now I get to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. So this is a, a treat for us. Thanks for your time this morning. Um, congratulations, the woman who I don't think is human. I think you might just don't sleep because you're on all the time doing all of these things. And forgive me, I didn't know until now, author as well. Not just one, but two books. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah, I wrote an adult book about a year and a half ago, but the intent when I first went to the publisher was to write children's books. And so this is the second in a trilogy. Um, the first one came out a year ago, and now we get to see the evolution of the character that I created. Her name is Helicity. Helicity stands for, um, it's the, my favorite tornado variable in science. Um, I'm obviously a passionate meteorologist who loves science and loves the atmosphere. This book takes all of that love and nerdy science stuff and then puts it into a story <laughs> that I hope everybody really loves to read. Um, so it seems like it has worked so far in the first one. It left you with a big cliffhanger. And if you are one of the people that have read that, apparently it's made for 8 to 12 year olds, but I've been told a lot of adults liked it, so great. Um, the second one will answer a lot of the questions, but it'll also bring some huge storms and some, some really big drama for Helicity. OK, so she's this girl, and she's finding adventure. And of course, it involves weather. So it's like you're sneaking in with yeah. the drama and all this stuff, the weather, too. Is that really what you want to do sort of sneak in that weather so people realize oh wait a minute I, I didn't realize that I'm learning about this stuff but gosh it's really cool yeah, because I think when you hear right away, even if you're an adult and you say, oh, I, you know, something about the way that our atmosphere works, I don't know that you're seeking that information out. But if it's coming along with a great story, I think that it will just be, you'll come away from the book, hopefully understanding the atmosphere and environment around you better, respecting it, which is something that I've had this unique opportunity. I get to go into uh, a disaster area before it happens, forecast a disaster, be there with people after the disaster happens. So I'm able to put those experiences into this book and then also make sure people understand all of the variables that came together to make that disaster happen so that they can be prepared for if it happens to them or if they can just have compassion uh, for folks that end up having it. You know, this year I was in Hurricane Michael, Category 5 hurricane, just upgraded. Um, and to know those people, I have basically two dozen pen pals that I keep in touch with. And to know their stories and to have been there right in their moment of need, I hope that this book can help take people there. But I also hope this book does something even bigger. I'm hoping that it becomes a kind of this beacon for young scientists. I grew up loving Mr. Wizard, um, and then there was <laughs> Bill Nye for the next generation. <laughs> I feel like it's time for a woman to be the next scientist that people look to. And whether that's me or it's Helicity, I think it should be something in this realm. And so I'm happy to be that, and I hope the book can start a whole, you know, beyond a trilogy. I know Lake Michigan was big in your upbringing. Here we are, Rochester, the shores of Lake Ontario. So maybe there's a young young person out there sort of being intrigued just like you were growing up. I know we're running out of time, but real quickly, can I ask from the mom perspective for just a second how you make this all work, the job, the mom, the authoring, <laughs> my goodness. Any any quick tip out there I don't for the moms? think I... I don't think I make it work. I think I just do whatever's in front of me as hard as I can, and that's been my, my goal so far. Um, you know, and that's, I think, with, with my kids, and I, when I'm with them, I'm focused on them. When I go on the airplane tomorrow night to go on this small book tour I'm about to go on, I'm going to be writing while I'm on the airplane because I've got another book and deadlines I'm actually passing. <laughs> and so I'm just going to keep trying um, to utilize time. I guess it's more not procrastinating. And ever since becoming a mom, I feel like I've gotten better at that because being a mom, is the hardest part of all of it, but the most rewarding, of course. Well, we appreciate you for inspiring our kids here in Rochester. Safe travels to you, and congratulations. Thank you.